Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi and welcome. My name is Megan and today's video is going to be like a little vacation preparation. So kind of just like how I'm prepping for my upcoming vacation in the fitness realm, in the packing realm, in the pampering realm, just everything of that nature. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys today. I have a haircut at 3.30 which I am in desperate need of. Like I, you guys can't really tell but it's super long and the last time I got my haircut was actually for my graduation which was in May so it's been a really long time and I was like I just want to wait until I'm back down I'm down where my college town was because I live here with my friends and I wanted to wait till I was here because the lady that did it last time did such a good job that I wanted her to do it as you can see my front strands these used to be like right here and they're like all the way grown out so it's definitely long overdue I feel like I get a lot of questions in regards to like prepping for vacation and how I make my mindset towards fitness and kind of how I'm not feeling guilty when I'm on vacation or doing other things or not working out or eating maybe as good and things like that so I kind of just wanted to talk about that a little bit because now more than ever I feel like people need a break they need time to go on vacation feel guilt-free enjoy time with the people that they love whoever they're traveling with or if they're traveling by themselves you just deserve to enjoy your time off from work or any obligations without feeling guilt about yourself your body and things that overall are gonna be okay I feel like the biggest thing for me when stopping the guilt of vacation and not exercising or eating my best is that one it's a vacation it's not my whole life I'm not doing this habitual poor diet inconsistent thing it's just I'm taking some time off and honestly time off that likely your body has earned and deserved and I feel like honestly when I take breaks I feel far more motivated to get back on track with my nutrition get back on track with fitness and so I feel like viewing it as this is my break time so I can come back motivated I think is the first thing that I love to view when it comes Comes to a vacation the second thing is just remembering that you deserve a break always and there's never a reason or excuse that you have to give like you are just allowed to take a break and to reset mentally because I feel like a mental reset is far more important than anything that you're doing physically with your body sometimes and so taking that time to reset mentally and just refresh yourself and have space and enjoy your life and feel happy in these moments is so important and don't let the fear of like how you're eating or the exercise you're not doing stop you from having a good time. I think a big thing is remembering that it's not what you do in a collection of days, it's what you do long term that really amounts to the changes in your body. Nothing is an overnight process, nothing is even a week process when it comes to big change, such as, you know, a physique change. You not going to the gym for a week is not going to have this drastic change in your body or you eating out every meal for a week is not going to lead to this most drastic change in your body. As long as you're getting back on track and as as long as you're doing more in the majority than you are in the minority if that makes sense even if you took a month vacation it's gonna be okay you can get back to where you were you will get back to where you were and it's really just kind of about understanding that and not allowing the pressure or the guilt or anything to overshadow your time because at that point then what's the point of even going on the vacation if you're just gonna feel so much guilt and unhappiness on it so that is just my little ramble because I just want you guys to feel like you can prep for a vacation and be so excited about it and so excited about the time off some things are always is going to be more important than going to the gym and tracking your calories and tracking your macros and caring about the protein content in every meal like it's just the reality and I feel like people shove so much down your throat now about how you have to be so in tune and intentional all the time with fitness but I think we need to remember that fitness is an overall lifestyle and within a lifestyle requires balance and it requires you to still enjoy your life but anyways I'm actually going to go to the gym right now I decided I'm going to try to go to the gym for the rest of this week and then obviously I'm taking off until I get back but I'm just doing like a light workout today. So my outfit, I'm just wearing some Honor Active shorts, my favorite lounge shorts. And I love these like bralettes that they made. They're like cotton material. Two hours later. Okay, hi guys. I just worked out and now I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Caseify. I am literally so excited about this collaboration because I've wanted to try Caseify cases for such a long time. My mom actually has a few cases from Caseify already, so I already know that they're great quality. So I'm super excited to show you guys the styles that I got to pick out. And Casefy is known for being a very reliable case brand, especially when it comes to protection of your phone, which is something that I really need right now because I got a big juicy crab.
track this morning from my old case so I'm ready to switch on a new case. They offer both an EcoShock and military standard case and the EcoShock they are able to be dropped from like 11 and a half feet and they still offer that protection which is honestly super good for a phone case not that I plan to drop my phone from that high but if I were to it's good to know that it has been tested for that and then as far as the military standard they have been tested 130 times to ensure that they pass standard before they go for sale which is super great that there's a lot of testing going on let's just get opening I love this packaging it feels like Christmas oh pretty so stinking cute their packaging detailing is super cute I think they sent me a sling as well. This is the sling. Okay, slay. Love the colorway. Oh, this is so cool. So you can put this into the inside of the phone case and then this is at coming out of the bottom so then you can take the strap card strap it to the sling and then have it all connected so here is the first case that i got are we serious this is so cute and oh, i dropped it good thing you can drop them but this is so cute and like groovy i literally love this and i think it's super nice it has a really nice and slim and sleek design as well like it's not super bulky i feel like the phone cases that claim that they're like super durable are also super bulky and i like that this is actually a durable case with a slim design instead and I just really loved all of the different options like there were options with different prints and options to do a customization which I'm so excited to show you guys my custom case I literally spent so long trying to decide like what I wanted but there were so many options which is so awesome and then this is the second one I got and it's super pretty it's like a floral print and I just really really liked this and I was called to it and then this one was the first one that I actually chose because I thought it was so stinking cute so it says good things are coming and it's just this green zebra this looks like it would already be on my photo wall like this looks like it would be a photo that's already on it and I wear green and love green so much so I feel like this might be the one that I put on my phone but I'm not sure because my custom one is so exciting and I'm oh it's so freaking cute you guys so I was seeing these on TikTok and I was like on the fence about wanting one but it's a mirror case like are we serious and then I just got my initials at the bottom so MB and it's also mag save which is super nice so it kind of checks all the boxes and I just like that it is a mirror it's so functional it's just so cute and different than I feel like any phone cases that I have seen yeah these are all of the cases that I selected they did not disappoint they're honestly even cuter in person and I'm super excited because I am traveling like I said so now I have a bunch of new case selections to put on my phone for this travel oh it's so cute and it says on the side I am made of 50% recycled material. We love a sustainable brand. Ah, oh, that's so freaking cute. Good things are coming because good things are coming. Matches my vibe so well. And then obviously I use a phone wallet, which is cute because then I still get the entire pattern in the background. And I like that the framework is black to match my phone wallet. So big fan, but obviously when I'm like taking pictures and stuff, I'll be doing it like this. And I also wanted to note that I know that the iPhone 14 will be coming up soon. So whether you're going to be upgrading your phone or even if you're not, you can can go to caseify.com and look for the newest and latest iPhone 14 styles that will be coming out. They have an iPhone 14 impact case series and then obviously they have cases for the iPhone 13 and below and I also have a link that will save you guys 15% off which I'll pop on the screen right now. It's www.caseify.com slash Megan Bungato and I just want to do a little drop test which is going to give me severe anxiety but I want to make sure it's drop proof before I just take this on a whole ass trip with me. So I'm scared. I'm scared, but I'm okay. Here we go. I cannot. I literally cannot. Okay, okay. I cannot. Okay, fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. She's fine. She's protected, but she slays. I am about to head to my appointment. I'm like kind of nervous. I always get nervous when it comes to hair chopping, but I think I'm really going to like it. And I feel like my hair is so outgrown that anything is going to look so good. So yeah, I'll update you guys when I'm out. Okay. Hi guys. It is officially cut I love these little front layers finally being small again and she was I love this woman she is so nice and kind and like she's the perfect amount of like talking and not talking but she did amazing I'm loving it and I didn't ask for a curl or anything and she was like oh I'll curl it for you so she ended up curling it she took like one and a half to two inches off of the length which I'm really happy about because it was definitely long and then basically just redid 
all the layers that I once had. And I feel like when the hair is curled, it's really obvious to see. So I really, really like it. I think it looks so freaking cute. Hi guys, it is officially Wednesday. So we are traveling tomorrow. I'm so excited, but there's still so much to do today. But I kind of started packing my luggage. My mom actually recently got this carry-on bag because our old one, you guys remember in the Florida packing video, the handle of that bag was broken and it was so annoying to take through the airport. So I got this purple shell situation instead. I have like a bunch of different outfits and things in here. This is a dress I ordered for the dinner, but it's super cute. I got it on Depop. It's from Princess Polly though, but this is like originally like 60 bucks and I got it on Depop for $18. So we love a bargain. I also got these super fun pants that I just like wanted to show you guys when we went to Richmond to see Caitlyn. They were on sale at Altered State for like 20 bucks and I thought they'd be super cute for like a Malibu beach day. And we're all gonna band together and figure out like what toiletries we want to bring so that we're not bringing a bunch of doubles but I just have like so much random stuff all over my floor but that is going to be my task for my next little bit is kind of getting organized but I also wanted to do a quick little haul Katie and I went to Target and my mom and I also went to Target before I came back here as well as Trader Joe's and I just have a bunch of things so obviously I got some little snacks like hella snacks because this is like probably dumb of me. I don't travel that much though. So I didn't really realize that you could bring food on the plane. You just can't bring liquid. So that was news to me. I got a little travel toothbrush and then my mom had this in our basement, but it's like a nice consolidated sheet for the beach, which is good because we don't have room in our luggage to bring towels and towels. I got a loofah for the trip because it's like a good amount of nights that I could use a loofah. And I got these super cute blending thingies. You can put your finger in it though, like a blender brush, but with your finger. I don't usually wear makeup up, but I know I'll probably be wearing it for vacation time. Got some face makeup remover and a little mini elf powder because I feel like the LA heat is gonna, I'm gonna need some touching up. And then I got a little baby lotion and I got a little mini palette. They had this at Target. It's a Morphe palette and it's literally called Malibu. Love that because we're going to Malibu. And then like a body wash and toothpaste and a luggage tag. Like just honestly all of the most random essentials and then I keep forgetting my razor at home so I just got a new one to have here. I really like this like Harry's brand. I know it's for men but like it's blue and it's cute. But I think for the rest of today I'll just spend kind of packing. We're in the midst of packing. <laughs> For Elslay. I have a lot going on on Katie's bed right now. I have a lot packed though. And I'm saving this space because I feel like I'm going to have some last minute on her active stuff to bring. And then I'm bringing this new boat and tote that Ryan got me. Just Interesting like, that you I would think one. that we wouldn't actually book this literal so last minute trip all the way to Elslay. <laughs> I never would have foreseen something like this. Do you want to do your Target haul of what you got at Target? I got this really cute nail polish that I actually Do you really want to show with. them those? Travel I showed them that I got that. I thought it was like so funny. Yeah, toothbrush covers. Enough for everyone. Druk Oh. Okay, like people on TikTok hate this, but it smells. Fructus? Do you want to try again? Smell it though. I've had this before at Ryan's house. It's Garnier Fructis. It's what? Garnier oh. Fructis. <laughs> I don't know. I Fruit use this. <laughs> Body lotion, you know, okay, yeah. love all this mini stuff. Mini face wash and face lotion. That is what we love. For sensitive, sensitive skin. skin. <laughs> I got a makeup brush because I actually had this tragic thing happen where I lost all my makeup. Long story short. And a blush. I appreciate you making that story short. Yeah, because it could have been a really long story <laughs> if I really dove into it. Okay. And then I got a massive full size, family size of bag of purple Doritos, obviously. Of course. And then I got these dark chocolate sea salt caramels. Yeah, I'm starting, like, this isn't even for the El Slay vlog. This is for, like, a prep for El Slay vlog. Oh. Because I know El Slay is going to be... So you're going to start the vlog tomorrow in the car? Probably yeah, nice. but this is, like, the prep with me for vacation. Yeah. Are you going to watch it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Katie, pack your sunglasses now. I know you're going to oh forget God. that. You're welcome. Slay. It's officially packing day for El Slay. Well, traveling day for El Slay. That's what we're calling it. I hope you guys don't hate that, but that's that's what we're calling it. So I just went and gassed up my car and I got a Jimmy John sub. Or no, I always do this. Jersey Mike's, not Jimmy John's. Sorry for the disrespect. Um, but now I have to pack everything. I have my luggage here, which is not done yet. And then I need to get all my carry-on stuff ready now that it's like the day of and I don't need anything anymore. A little overwhelmed because it's a three-hour drive to Charlotte and then a five-hour flight. 
So it's a long ass day ahead of us, but I think once I get food in my stomach and everything packed and Starbucks on the road, I'm gonna feel at ease. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through me getting the last of everything together. Then the next time you guys see me, it will be my LA vlog. So I'm super excited to take you guys along for that. And again, just so grateful for you guys because none of these opportunities would be possible without you. So I'm gonna speed through and get all this packing done, probably have like a little montage of everything. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kept it gonna be up until 10 Me you and your friends You know how I spend in H-O-U-S-T-O-N Now it gets too crazy I'm a little bad enough We stay good friends We get too crazy All I know is that when it's got The next one begins My babe, you know me and you knew me back then And you know how it goes when I see you again You know I'm making My carry-on is obviously Blu-ray And what I have is like this longer strap that you can use So what I'm going to do is unhook it super fast And I'm going to take my new little donut pillow And hook it through And boom, we're ready to go So baby, you a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gon' take off like a. You are